let us start with the discussion of IGCSE past paper question on the topic light. This is our video number one. We will be taking up two questions named question number one and two. So let us start with the question number one. If you want, you can pause the screen here, solve the question yourself and play the video again to look at your, to verify your working. All right. So the part A of question number one, what is meant by total internal reflection and the critical angle. So these things you should know. Talking about total internal reflection, when does the total internal reflection takes place? When the light travels from a denser medium to the rarer medium and the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle, the light reflects back in the denser medium that is your total internal reflection. All right. So let me write it down. When light travels from denser medium to rarer medium and angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle then the light reflects back reflects back in the denser medium. All right. Critical angle. Critical angle is the angle of incidence. Critical angle is the angle of incidence in the denser medium for which the angle of refraction becomes 90 degree. So you say critical angle, what is it? It is the angle of incidence in the denser medium for which the angle of refraction is 90 degrees. So you can say critical angle is equal to the angle of incidence in the tensor medium for which the angle of refraction is 90 degrees. Now the part B, the figure here shows a light traveling in air. So you have light traveling in the air. It is incident on a glass prism. So this is a glass prism. Now the question follows here. The speed of the light in the air is given to you. The speed of the light in the glass is given to you. Calculate the refractive index of the glass. We'll start with writing the formula for the refractive index. The formula for the refractive index says speed, speed of light in air over the speed of the light in glass. If you are finding the refractive index for the glass, let me write it as Ng, then it will be a reciprocal sorry not the reciprocal it will be a ratio of the speed of the light in air divided by the speed of the light in glass so let us substitute the values so what do you get 1.5 
The unit for refractive index is nothing because it is a simple ratio of the speeds. So you do not have any unit for the refractive index. All right, let us come to the second part, second part of B. Show that the critical angle for the glass air boundary is 42 degrees. Now let us come to the formula for the critical angle. If C is your critical angle, then sine of C is 1 over the refractive index because we are talking about glass as a substance here. So we'll be taking the refractive index of the glass. Substitute the values sine inverse of 1 over 1.5. This will come out to be 42 degrees approximately. All right, you can work it out in the calculator and you can verify the working yourself. Coming on to the last part of the question, draw carefully without calculation the continuation of the ray through the prism into the air without calculation. If you want, you do not show the calculation, but little bit of calculation would be required because you are given so many angles here. Right to understand if total international uh, to, total internal reflection is taking place or if refraction is taking place. So some angles you need to calculate here and there. So let us come to the boundary one. Boundary one means we are talking about the first side of the prism. At the first side of the prism, draw the normal. Let us use the blue color to draw all the normals. Where is the normal? So let me make it perfectly on the line. So that's your normal. The normal, so if you see the normal and the incident ray are perfectly overlapping each other. So what is the angle between them? The angle of incidence is the angle between the incident ray and the normal. So how much is the angle of incidence? Angle between the incident ray and the normal is zero. Angle of incidence is always the angle between the normal and the incident ray. The, this is the formula. This is the definition for the angle of incidence. So when the angle of incidence is zero, the angle of refraction also becomes, refraction also becomes zero. Why? The formula that connects I and R for refraction is sine I over sine R is equal to the refractive index. When I is 0, automatically if you use this formula to find the value of R, use the formula in your free time, you will see that R is 0. Right? So how will this black ray of light move? It will move in the same straight line. It will not turn because angle of refraction is zero. The refracted ray will be overlapping with the normal. Now let us come to the side two. The side two. Which is the side two that we are talking about? Look at the side which I am showing with my pointer. This is the side that we are talking about. This is the boundary. All right, now let us draw the normal as usual. We'll use blue color to draw the normal. The normal would be a perpendicular line, something like this. So this is your normal, let's call it N. So where is the angle of incidence here at this boundary? This is your angle of incidence. How much is the angle of incidence? Do some geometry calculation. You'll find it is 60 degrees. If you look at the upper triangle, let us understand why it is 60 degrees. Let us look at the upper triangle. It is a right angle triangle. This is your 90 degrees. Some of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So the last angle should be 30 degrees. Now this whole angle is 90. So the angle of incidence would be 60, how? 90 minus 30 is equal to 60. This is your angle of incidence here.
calculate the angle of incidence with the critical angle which I'm showing with my pointer right what do you see that 60 degrees is greater than 42 degrees which is the critical angle angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle so what happens total internal reflection will take place now total internal reflection so this ray of light would travel something like this it will reflect how will it reflect it will reflect in such a way that the angle of reflection is also also 60 degrees all right so now we have come to the third boundary which is the third boundary this is your third boundary let us draw a normal at this point of contact with the boundary of the ray of light as usual we'll use the blue color to draw the normal your normal would look something like this just hold on let me collect this whole picture it would look something like this this is your normal at the third boundary so how much is the angle of incidence here at the third boundary you will need to use again some geometry if you see this is the triangle here which I am showing with my pointer it's a right angle triangle so how much is this angle 90 degrees the third angle of the triangle would be 60 degrees the angle here the angle here becomes 120 angle this side the small angle would be 30 degrees because this whole angle is 90 degrees which is the angle 90 degrees with the normal and the surface is 90 degrees so 90 minus 60 the small angle is 30 degrees so as a result the small angle which you are getting here the angle of incidence is 30 degrees now 30 degrees we know is less than the critical angle 42 degrees 30 is less than the critical angle so what happens refraction will happen now why no total internal reflection is taking place so it will emerge out in the air with the angle of refraction greater than the angle of incidence something like this so if this is your normal let me complete the picture of the normal let me use a straight line tool not a freehand tool right if you see the line is emerging away from the normal why because the light is traveling from a from a denser medium to a rarer medium so be very careful that you have to show the light bending away from the normal this completes your working now the last bit remaining is to add the arrows on the line arrows to depict how the light is traveling and then this is your working little bit of rough work here and there will come on your diagram but do not worry you do not need to erase them it's perfectly fine let me show you the mark scheme as well so that you can understand the mark scheme take a snapshot of it understand the mark scheme of how the marks are awarded here the last question if you see it's a three mark question how the three marks are awarded very important to understand and everything I've explained already in my working let's come to the question number two 